Hello, Goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. All right, real quick, Cyber Monday, we're selling all the merch at factory price. Great deal. I also made a Guillaume Duclair Instagram. Cue the intro. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hype. Pre-game warm-ups are an important part of any game. It's the only time you have on the ice before the game starts. You have about five minutes to skate around, get blood to your legs, stretch out, take some shots, get fired up by coach, and make sure your gear is on right. If you were in the NHL, things would be different, but no local ice rink is gonna let you waste their time by letting your team skate on for five hours while the arena fills up. To them, you're not that important. If you were, they'd have a separate room for physical therapy, working out, and eating Fruit Loops with the boys. Instead, you get a locker room, rubber tiles to keep your blades from shattering, and the ice for one hour. The only other rooms in this building are a utility closet, a lobby, and a garage for the Zamboni. So unless you plan on doing yoga with the rink attendants, you should probably do that at home. If you were in the NHL, you'd get all the amenities you want. You'd get 20 minute periods with 20 minute breaks. You'd get two Zambonis cleaning the ice in between each intermission and ice girls cleaning up your snow castles every TV timeout. You can get all of this and more because your skills are bringing in millions of viewers and commercials right to Gary Bettman's wallet. It's a good life when Gary likes you. For instance, if you're as good as Sidney Crosby, Gary Bettman will actually make out with you in between intermissions. And if you're not as good as Sidney Crosby, Pierre Maguire is always available and more than happy to participate. So anyways, five minute warm up, 12 minute periods, with a minute in between each period to get shit on by your coach. That is, if you don't have to switch with the other goalie halfway through the game because Americans are soft nowadays. It doesn't matter if you're a starter, everyone's a starter. During the intermission, the coach will probably tell you that you're too deep in the net and that you're going down too much. That's because he hasn't been paying attention to goalies for at least 10 years. He'll probably also tell you to do more pad stacks and kick saves. He'll probably tell you to always stand up and never drop to your knees. What you'd like to do is tell him to drop to his knees and lick your grundle because he has no idea what he's talking about. But you can't do that. You have to take it, pretend to listen, and get the fuck off the ice when your hour is up. Ice time is so tightly scheduled, you have to shake hands with your opponents at the end of the game while the Zamboni guy is on the goal line checking his watch. Let's go, people. I'm trying to run a business here. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to teach you how to get the most out of your five minutes so you don't pull a muscle or misread the puck. This is Goalie Smarts episode 24, how to properly warm up. Step one, get in a few warm up laps. Not pulling a muscle is the most important part of warming up. You need to make sure that there's adequate blood flow to all your ligaments and tendons before you start stretching. So get in a few good laps and use this time to start debates with your teammates about sensitive political issues. It's a great way to make friends. Step two, start stretching. Now that you've got the blood flowing, it's time to get in a good stretch. Go by the center line and start stretching out. Use this time to yell offensive things to the opposing team. Make broad generalizations and borderline racist comments. Do whatever you gotta do to get under their skin and let them know you're there to play hockey. Step three, start taking shots. Most organized leagues do the same warm-up. Two groups of shooters on both sides with one player passing cross ice to the other player on the other side. Some disorganized leagues might have alternative warm-ups that may include getting guard dogs sicked on you. But unless you're in the ghettos of Saskatchewan, this will probably be your drill. This should be a pretty easy drill, but thanks to some over-enthusiastic dicks, you might run into some danger. First of all, anybody who shoots the puck at you while you're not looking deserves the electric chair. So, you might wanna bring one of your own. Then you have headhunters. Some headhunters are guys that just get too excited because after all these years, they can finally lift the puck and they just wanna show off. Others are disturbed psychopaths shooting at your face because they think that'll make their dads love them again. No matter what, they either suck at hockey or suck at being a son. Either way, fuck them. Bring out the electric chair. Then you have the all-stars. These are the guys that want to take this time to practice the fucking insane deeks they saw in a Pavel Datsu compilation they jerked off to last night. The best part about this is they would rather use this time to impress their buddies rather than having a goalie that's prepared to be shot at. These guys are so fucking good, they deserve no attention whatsoever. As soon as you see the shooter start to do some crazy stick handling shit, immediately stop paying attention to him and let him have his fun. Give him a look that implies that he needs to save that shit for the all-star shootout he'll never be a part of and move on to the next asshole. Last but not least, you have Tommy Big Balls. These are the maniacs who fire full speed slap shots at the hash marks 
because they want you to die. They hate themselves, they hate you, and they hate everyone around them. These are the kids that shoot squirrels with BB guns, listen to Slipknot, and staple their fingers together in class. Make sure you're good friends with him because you'll never know if he's gonna shoot up your school. Thank you for watching the eighth weekly episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by Walk Er. If you have a suggestion for the next episode, comment it below. Cyber Monday, all Guillaume merch is at factory cost. We're getting new inventory, the stuff's gonna be much higher quality, so uh, keep your eyes peeled on that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you would like to check out my website and look at the merchandise, click right here. If you would like to watch more Goalie Smarts, click right here. I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out.